Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, I'm Ije here. And just in case you're seeing my face for the very first time, you're welcome to join us. So guys, they're gonna be reacting to uh, Billboard and Nea's advice. So this one is a 21 year old accent to strike for him how to be dating in that 21 year. Let's check it out guys. Oh wow, look who just walked in, the wonderful Nia. <laughs> Nia, you gotta help me out here. I, I'm trying to help a 21 year old version. Version. A virgin. Yeah, I'm still. I've been stuttering this whole podcast because I'm, I'm. I think that fucking Tylenol PM is still fucking with me. Um, speaking of the mic. Hi. Yeah, there you go. So this guy is 21 year old virgin. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, oh, it's a guy. He wants to get laid. So he's been talking on Facebook with some nerd chick who's into Pokemon and all that. <laughs> yeah, Micronauts and all that shit that they're into. Right. So uh, he just can't seem to. To get in the goddamn game. All right. So he's suggesting taking her to dinner and drinks. And I'm like, that's the worst thing you can do because you're going to end up in a relationship. And I'm saying he's 21 years old. He needs to go out there and crush some ass. And if he goes out, if you set it up with dinner and drinks, you take her to a movie, you're, you're setting it up like you, you care about her. You, you don't want to be a 21 year old. Okay, you're already furring your bra. Because I don't understand why being in a relationship is like the worst thing that can right. happen. Right. <laughs> right out of the gate, it's fucking horrible, especially at 21. This guy needs no. to bang. He's like most guys. He needs to bang at least 20, 40, 60. He can do that afterward. I don't understand why he can't take this girl. Why, why are you denying him his instinct to like take her out and show her a good time and laugh it up? And if they end up having sex, great. And if not, whatever. Why are you discouraging that? Because he's never been laid. Which yeah. means well, which what's, why it's more which, important which for mean, him to which be means it's, my the first time, time my time the first time should be with someone he cares about because that set up your whole sexual yeah outlook for like the rest of your life I think I think your first time should be like an ideal situation it shouldn't just be with like a whoever that's really gay it's not that's how it was for <laughs> me it was very special and loving and it it really ah, shaped my gross. outlook stop saying that. Why, why is it gross? That's just fuck. This guy needs to go out. He, I told buy a stack of fucking condoms. He needs to go out, okay? Then dress, you might as well dress, just tell him to get a hooker. It's closest. No. You might as well tell him. Well, that's, really? Well, that's kind of what you're, you're just throwing him out into the wild. Like, yeah, just bang a bunch of chicks. If that's it's not what I'm saying. Don't belittle, removed, don't belittle what I'm saying. If it's going to be that devoid and removed from emotion, then he might as well just get a hooker. No, you know what the problem is, Nia? You don't understand how guys are wired. All, All right. right. Well, he's wired to take a girl out and... How know. do you know that? You don't know this because guy. Because he said it. So what? I, I say things. <laughs> I say things so that I don't mean. he said it and you don't, you don't believe him. Dude, this is like a guy who's never watched a football game talking about football. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> yeah, get the ball and run with it. That's, that's his instinct. Guys, he doesn't know how to true. go off tackle. The guys, help they just out. called the option. You think he's going to throw it? He's just going to start running. He doesn't know what to do. I have this, no idea what you're talking about. Exactly. And it, the same way you, have not, you know nothing about football, this guy knows nothing about pussy. And I'm telling you right now, he's going to go out there and he's going to fucking – she's going to hold his hand – or give him a little kiss, and he's going to be like, oh, oh, my God. All those feelings right? are great. Yeah. Why are you just trying to discourage those feelings? Those are all wonderful because feelings to have. Because of the demon. Because of the demon. What are you talking about? The demon that every guy has in him. Okay? Not every guy is you, Bill. Every guy has that demon in him, and you got to fuck it out of you before you fall in love. You have to hit – you got to hit – that maybe I'm superimposed myself, but you got to hit the wall <laughs> yeah, where you're, you think? You're, you're crawling off that last skank, and you're just like, "What the fuck am I doing?" I, I don't wanna, know why you're trying to turn I, him into a dirt bag. I want to meet a nice girl because Nia, this guy is going to fall in love right so out of the shoot, right out of the shoot, without ever a, ask because it's going to fuck thing? with him when he's in his forties. I have no idea what you mean by any of this. I'm going to tell you I what's going to happen. Take her this out. is what no, no. Follow She's going to do something. Follow your to, heart, sweetie. And this dude, this girl. <laughs> Take that nice gonna... little nerdy girl out. Talk about all kinds of nerdy stuff together. Kiss, make out, be excited about seeing her again in a couple weeks. And then it builds from there. And you have wonderful, sweet lovemaking. And if it lasts a month, if it lasts for two weeks, that's, that's life. And that's how it goes. That's the advice you should be giving him. Is to go for it, and if things don't work out, know that you will find. And you know what's funny? Else. You know what's funny? That's the, the advice you should the give. The advice him. that you're giving him mm -hmm. is in his forties, he's going to have a Corvette convertible, and his comb over is going to be fucking blowing in the breeze as he try as he drives down the street banging. No, his fucking I think secretary. he's going to be just fine. I oh, think you, you should you take think her so? out. Yeah, 
And like I said, if it doesn't work out with this girl for some reason, you will find somebody else. But you got to get out there and get in the game. All right, there you go, sir. You got it from both sides of the ball there. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking out for this guy. I'm sure the guy will be more really, confused. This guy is, you know, he's leading with his jugular, and he's going to get hurt. I'm telling you, you I'm telling you, dude, you got to hurt them before they fucking hurt you. Yeah, that's right? really what it comes down to. <laughs> that's really what it comes no, down to. Really see, this is why you're great on the podcast. Uh, so last week I asked to hear some fucking questions from the lady. And I got some. Here we go. From the ladies. Hey, Bill. I've been listening to your Monday morning podcast for about a year. Uh, actually, my boyfriend listens, but now I'm hooked, which is awesome. Uh, anyways, I just want to say that I agree with you about the 21-year-old virgin from last week. Uh, and then she says, what Mia, ha- it's Nia with an N, not an M. A lot of people mess that up. What Nia with an N says makes sense to my wiring. Being a female, romance and fuzzy feelings are fun. But my 10-year relationship has given me a little insight into a man's perspective. And I agree that the young man may get laid, get totally attached to the nerdy chick, and then, like a little domesticated puppy dog, proceed to follow this nerdy first-time girl around, waiting and waiting for her sexual peak, waiting and waiting and waiting. Then, voila, he's 40 Horny, feels like he's wasted his youth, perhaps angry at himself and women at large. And then who knows? Maybe a comb over and a Corvette, maybe a serial killer. Who knows? For the record, it's not that I don't think love works, but I do think that men have to come to that on their own. Fucking brilliant. Absolutely. She's basically agreeing with me that you have to fuck the demon out of you. Um, After they've realized that they want a relationship to come home to, or perhaps they realize that they don't, which is fine. Uh, But then there won't be children to fuck over and a relationship ruined. Absolutely. Now, if I hadn't freaked out Nia about my goddamn gun talk, you you guys would have loved me. Charlton Heston would have been fucking high-fiving me from the goddamn grave. Um, I could have had her comment on that. Uh, Number two. Actually, you know what? Let me get her for a second. Hang on a second. I love Mia when she's here. Okay, and with the magic of the pause button, the lovely Nia has returned to the podcast. And, <laughs> and don't you look lovely. Thank you. Um, all right, listen to this. I actually got to kind of read that. The, this girl actually kind of agreed with me last week. Remember last, last week, the 21-year-old version? Version? Virgin? Why do you keep saying Version. I don't, I have like, I, I would love to say that I have dyslexia. I'm like, one, I have a rare case of dyslexia, not where, what dyslexia is. where I don't even have to be reading to do it. Right. You just mispronounce words. All right. So who agrees oh, with you? Are you in a mood? Are you in a mood? Let's keep it nice. Okay. I didn't, I didn't bring you on here to have you do things that I don't appreciate. <laughs> All right. Just so get anyways, on with it. The 21 year old virgin. <laughs> yes. This is a lady who's saying this. All right. Because I asked the broads, you know, to quit their fucking whining and write a goddamn email. Just read what was written. I'm trying to make it funny here. Let me turn you up a little bit there, fucking squeaky. Um. So I. All right. Well, I already read this damn thing. I. I have to. I have to paraphrase now. Okay. Um, she says basically Nia, I told her it's not Mia, uh, <laughs> happens all the time, makes sense with all the warm, fuzzy feelings. Care, look at me. Don't look at the email. All right. But now that she's been in a relationship for 10 years, she kind of understands that, uh, guys have to come to a point oh, where, where, where they, where they realize that they want to be in a relationship. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So telling this guy right out of the gate. To just go for the warm fuzzy might be the right thing, but I mean, you could send this. This guy could end up just latching onto the first thing he ever fucking, you know, bent over, right? And then all of a sudden he comes out the other side and just realizes, you know, I wasn't in love with this girl and all this pussy I could have gotten, and then it could make him a, a woman oh, hater. Give me a break. That's gonna that's gonna make him a woman hater. Yeah. As opposed to what? So 
following wanting to take somebody out and go on dates and stuff and having it not work out that's a worse idea than just going out and just banging a bunch of chicks because banging a bunch of chicks and just treating them like disposable fuck toys that that's not going to make him i'm not saying disregard i'm women. not saying no no it wouldn't it wouldn't do that at all no no yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm, saying I'm, I'm, I'm crazy i'm the crazy one oh jesus rejecting christ can we turn the sarcasm out. down a couple of notches Nia, first of all, you don't understand how guys are wired. I do understand how guys are you wired. You don't. I don't understand how you're fucking wired. I would never tell you what you're thinking. You're telling me, like, I'm telling you right now. I didn't tell, first of all, I didn't tell him how he's wired. I just said if he had an instinct. The thing is, you guys are twisting everything that I set up. All I suggested was, he said, oh, should I Why take her out to troops? dinner and all this other stuff or, or take her out and... Because he was talking about being a nerd and liking... I don't remember what he said. But he, he said something about wanting to take her out and getting to know her. And I said, yeah, that's a great idea. And now it's like, no, it's terrible. Because he's a boy. You should tell him just to fuck everybody. No, and not, not take saying. anyone out. That's not what I'm God saying. forbid he falls in love. I'm saying this dude, is he's, he's in dire straits right now. Okay? If he's 16 fucking years old and he likes a girl... Okay. Dire straits? It's not that serious. He's only 21 years old. No, that, no. He's up to his fucking neck in I'm never going to get laid in my life, okay? And the water is swirling down the fucking drain, all right? So he's desperate right now. So anybody fucking pays attention to him. I'm not saying, I am just was worried that that's what the fuck he was going to do. He's going to get sucked into a goddamn relationship. And there is that thing. And you know something, Nia? When people fuck up in life, how often do they, do they actually own up to it themselves? Like, that was a stupid thing that I did. They usually don't. That's how you end up fucking, why he could possibly end up hating women, because he's going to blame them. Not that it's, that it's their fault. It's not this nerdy chick's fault that this guy hasn't gotten laid in 21 fucking years. You know, it's not her fault, but it'll end up being her fault. You, you, I mean, I'm... I'm explaining resentment to you. You understand resentment. I don't need to explain that, right? Yeah, but I think you're also, when people talk about doing stuff like that, it, that you're also coming from a place of fear, and I just don't believe in that. You know, I can't argue that. Um, all right, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> See that, people? I establish credibility. You admit when you're fucking wrong. I do come from a place of fear. I know what you bitches is up to. All right, number <laughs> yeah. two. At the end of the day, okay, you are, be scared, you are scared of, what if I, what if I do this and I fall in love with, and I marry her, what if me in my 40s and I, and I need more, guys, come on, <laughs> okay, guys, I want to hear from you guys, what do you think, what do you think the guy should do, and what's your advice, is it wrong for a guy to follow, for fall in love of the bat from his first relationship and marry the girl, or what do you think, or do you think the person should sleep around? It doesn't have sleeping around, you're just contacting, making yourself with different kind of spirits, sleeping with different spirits. Yeah, sex is spiritual, in case if, no, if you don't know. Yeah. So guys, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section, of course. Until I come here next time, guys, take care of yourself and be happy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.